Hier oben sein. But we will not be doing much fishing. I just wanted to do a successful fishing. Oh, so here we go. X, C, W, Q. And we reeled it in. So we got, and this is the crazy part. We got organic polymer. We got prime meats. We got absorbent substrate, end game material. It's like <laughs> the amount of stuff that you can get from fishing is ridiculous um we didn't get any blue parents that time but it's probably because we're not using honey if we got some honey we'd get bigger fish and be able to that's when you really like i said really get good stuff but leech should get us food, especially because we got an ascended fishing rod which we got when we um summoned in um or when we not summoned in when we fought the alpha squid after we got our squid what i was thinking of is what a lot of people will do especially on single player servers and stuff like that they'll build themselves a little fishing pond and just spawn in a bunch of the big fish in a confined area the other thing you can do is there's a good way to do it in the river. You build a trap, and they're all saber tooth salmon. So they'll attack you. So you get one of their attention, and then they all come into you and run and try to hit you. Once they're in, you just put a lever on the other side um, that closes the door. And so you trap them all in. Um, in your little fishing pond, and then you can fish. So that's the other way of doing it. We probably, I probably will not build a fishing area because, again, you know, we're getting great drops from the uh, supply crate, so it's not. But we'll do it one more time, and then, uh, then we'll call it. You can't go to inventory and like that. You gotta. Yeah, you can't go to inventory and like that. You gotta. Yeah, you can't go to inventory. So you can't do what I just did twice. Don't do that. Okay. Like I said, we'll do this one more time and then uh, go build the metal spikes. We might just go and do the dungeon. I don't mind, uh, I don't mind getting in there and doing the dungeon. Grab a bunch of metal spikes and, you know, that jazz dub. Um, although I'm seriously considering doing a, we have uh, almost everything we need for a beta broodmother. And I'm seriously debating doing that. <clears throat> All we need is um, sauropod vertebrae. So um, Lopasauruses, Bronto, stuff like that. That's what we're missing. We only have one of those. We need four more. So we need a total of five. Then obviously we have to go get all the artifacts again. One being from that dreadful lava cave. Also, when I was taming the Therazine, the Therosaur, I made exceptional kibble. Let me tell you, I was getting like 1-2% to 2 off the Major Berries. 
in 45% from the kibble. It takes three kibble to tame a high level one of those bad boys. So before we go hunting for another one, because they drop torpor really quickly, we might uh, build some kibble. Which is why I have all those dinosaurs over there with the Omniraptor boosting their egg drop. Um, <laughs> we'll give it a little bit longer, and if we don't catch anything here soon, we're going to call it rounds complete and move on. See, that guy might be too heavy. I'm pretty sure that guy's too heavy. Come on. Somebody eat eat the leech. I know there's fish in there, because one, I see one right there. Always fish in this area. Alright. Here we go. We got, we got some wood, <laughs> we got some raw prime fish meat, we got some obsidian, I mean, and that's what I'm saying, like the amount of stuff that you get from them is just ridiculous sometimes. Um, so fishing is a great way to get good resources. <laughs> I don't know why it's that way, but that's one of those things. I left my front door open. Probably not a good thing. Door and then anyway, just gotta beat it out. Um, that away. idea why it gives us some of the stuff it gives us. Oh, weren't we cleaning the wood? Or the spider? Oh, I think I was. I got distracted. Which, you know, happens. Yeah. Because we do not, you do not need that much money, buddy. You're not going to have that. You gotta put him on a little bit of a diet. He's been, he's been over gorging himself. Um, we should be in, be in good shape. If we get the metal spikes. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the metal spikes uh, as kind of our moving. barrier that nothing's going to be able to get to us. It's such random stuff that you got to find myself one. Crystal, we got one piece of crystal. Yeah, you know. We also need to, okay, you're done, right? Here. Um, what 
Okay, that gives us that gives us a good amount. Let's see what else we need. Uh, is it in here? Yeah, okay. So we need cementing, metal, hide, and fiber. Fiber would be part of this, but okay. Would be too heavy for. No, okay, we're okay. We get it. okay. That's um, that you. Uh, well, you know, I gotta go for one. I mean. Dog has just cheered five bits. Thank you for the five bits. I appreciate it. How's it going today, Arda? How we look? They're about sixty to Okay, five out of, hey, five out of ten is not bad. Five out of ten is not bad. Alright, I think we have two. I like it. Let's check here real quick. See, we got an RGA. Nice. Let's <laughs> just All right, buddy. Well, hopefully we'll see you later. And if not, then uh, have a fantastic rest of your day. Either we're going to be ready or we're not. You're the one I want to start with. We will not bring another team with us. But I do need to grab my fur. We're almost ready.
the better versions hiding something. I mean, they'd have to be ascended to be better. Just, just double check. No. Okay. That, we should have enough gold to resist. We shouldn't make a lick of difference. Again, we're gonna try to... Cheese sounds like a bad word, but basically that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to cheese the, the dungeon using metal spikes. That's, it all comes down to these metal spikes. That's what's going to, it's going to make a break for us. We're going to use the metal spikes to keep the, the dinosaurs basically permanently away from us. And if I'm correct about them, Nothing in this dungeon will be able to actually hurt the spikes. So they'll basically be permanent. So if I was really going to do this again, I would set up little staging areas that I knew where dinos were going to spawn. And then just spike them. And continue to spike them. First of all, we don't have that many metal spikes. I mean, we still have a lot of metal, but we tend to use metal pretty quickly, so I don't want to use all of our metal on Wait, did I pass? I didn't pass the road game. Yeah, that's not uh, Yeah, I don't want to spend all of our metal on this stuff, because we're going to need Well. We always need metal, so... But I brought the sniper rifle and the shotgun basically as a way... The sniper rifle is basically a way to, to get dinosaurs' attentions and bring them into the traps. Uh, and the shotgun's a, uh, oh crap, we messed up. Kill whatever is trying to kill us. And the nice thing is, we'll be able to pick up the metal spikes. Those metal spikes are not permanent. You can pick them up. You're far enough in. You should be okay. Oh. Alright. Uh, and then we want to do this. And it, as we get cold, we have our ascended gear. There was nothing in this first little area, but if I remember correctly, there's something right around this corner. What we're gonna do is basically we'll do something like this. This would be a good test. that that thing's there, I don't want to, uh, pick 
this up until... Should be fine. If something comes here, like right here, it should get bounced back. We don't have to worry. Yeah, the polar bears can't hurt it. So this is what, and you can do this for almost any dungeon. As long as you have built uh, building in caves turned on, there's almost nothing in. I think only the aquatic dungeons have. See, there's a 245 dead. I 
Sometimes you just gotta shoot somebody in the foot, you know what I mean? Take our first break. We'll see you when we get back. 